Ben Cooper Halloween costumes with the vinyl skirt and the PVC plastic mask faces featured characters such as Darth Vader and Strawberry Shortcake in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted daily. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. Ben Cooper founded a theatrical costume business in 1927 in New York City. Cooper designed costumes and sets for the legendary Cotton Club in Harlem and several editions of the Ziegfeld Follies. With live theater becoming rarer in the 1930s due to the Great Depression and Halloween becoming a more popular holiday, Cooper established Ben Cooper Inc. in Brooklyn, New York in 1937. The firm assumed control of A.S. Fishbach Inc., which had a license to produce costumes based on characters owned by the Walt Disney Company such as Donald Duck and Snow White, in 1937 and began selling Disney costumes under Fishbox Spotlight brand. By the late 1940s, Ben Cooper Inc. was one of the largest and most prominent Halloween costume manufacturers in the United States. Its costumes were generally very thin fabric with a silkscreen image on the front that sold for less than $3. The company began selling its costumes through large retailers such as JCPenney's, Sears, Woolworths, and Five and Dime stores. Costumes often sold for $1.25. At the time, the most popular costumes were traditional Halloween figures such as devils, ghosts, skeletons, and witches. In the 1950s, television characters such as Davy Crockett, Superman, and Zorro were more popular. As parents became more concerned about safety in the 1950s, the company responded by creating its Glitter Glow costumes, dresses, jumpsuits with large amounts of blue glitter glued to the front, which would reflect the headlights of oncoming automobiles. In the 1960s, the company banked heavily on the popularity of President John F. Kennedy and Jacqueline Kennedy, but had to destroy thousands of masks after Kennedy was assassinated in November of 1963. In the 1960s and 1970s, Ben Cooper Inc. was one of the big three Halloween costume companies, along with Collegeville and the H. Halpern Company, or Helco. The company became known for licensing popular film and television characters and getting their images onto store shelves quickly. For example, it licensed Spider-Man, a virtually unknown character at the time, in 1963. The company also licensed the Batman character in 1964. All this history leads to the 1980s. During the 1980s, Ben Cooper Inc. released some iconic characters. If you were a kid growing up in the 1980s, the Star Wars franchise offered many characters to dress up as. Of course, you didn't need to be a lifelong Star Wars fan to remember costumes like these. Those mask and smock costume sets hit upon characters from virtually every major property from Aliens to Holly Hobby. Even more appealing was the fact that such costumes were primarily sold at toy stores. Halloween City and Spirit Halloween have temporary stores, but it's a far cry from what Toys R Us did back in the early 80s, when the whole fronts of the stores were transformed into bustling, floor-to-ceiling Halloween meccas, stuffed with every costume it could, could possibly desire, plus the added bonus of having the toys to go with it. Of course, that let us turn our simple costume excursion into a plea for one more action figure. Come on, Mom. They're right over there. Or another playset that we didn't have. The company suffered heavy financial losses in the early and mid 1980s, beginning on September 29, 1982. Seven people died after taking the painkiller Tylenol. 
Investigators discovered that someone had tampered with the product, lacing it with potassium cyanide. Terrified parents nationwide refused to allow their children to celebrate Halloween the following month, and sales of costumes plummeted and did not recover for several years. The increasing sales in the late 1980s was not enough to stave off bankruptcy. Ben Cooper Inc.'s financial problems became so severe in 1988 that many customers left the firm and diverted licenses and business to its biggest competitor, Collegeville. The company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy on March 13, 1988. One report estimated the firm's profit margin was below 10% in 1989. On January 6, 1989, the company's facility in Georgia burned to the ground, destroying, the company said, two to three million dollars in inventory. First, two insurance companies canceled coverage of the firm and refused to pay, citing inaccuracies in the insurance policy. The bankruptcy court refused to consider Cooper's claims against the insurance companies. On October 30th, 1991, Ben Cooper Inc. filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy again. The company's CEO said the cause of the second bankruptcy was due to relocation expenses, the early 1990s recession, and delays in obtaining bank loans. Ben Cooper Inc. was bought by Ruby's Costume Company in 1992. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.